Hey guys, take a control with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if your volume up or volume down button are not working on your iPhone. Now, there's a couple of reasons why it may not be working, and hopefully by the end of this video, you can fix that issue, and we'll also give you a temporary solution if your physical button actually do not work because of a hardware issue. So, let's get started. So, when it comes to fixing your physical button itself, if you have a case or something, sometimes it's good to just take off a case and see if it works without it. And the reason why that is because sometimes over time, if your case fell or got deformed, it might be blocking the actual button and stuff. So take it off naturally, see if they work up and down for you. And it might be simple as that. Other thing also, you want to make sure if there's any dust or dirt build up around the edges, sometimes it helps to clean it up as well. If you see over time, if you have a lot of dust build up, it'll block the button so you can't press the button itself. Just a simple cleaning and removing case. But let's go into some of the setting things that you want to check out if you're still having issues. And the first thing is going to be in your settings itself here so you're going to go ahead and open up settings and once you open up settings you want to go to sounds and haptics and you want to see that change with button is turned on and the reason why is if you're adjusting the volume or the ringer on it you want to ensure that this button is turned on so you can actually utilize that those buttons for that so as you can see here we want to turn those on to make sure that they are getting adjusted as well. So important to do that. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, and it's time to go ahead and shut your phone down completely and turn it back on. But usually what how you would turn it off with the buttons is you would press the volume down button and the side button to activate this menu, right, to power off. But let's say your volume down or the, the button doesn't work. So another way to turn off your phone is by going into your settings and then going to general and going all the way down here so said shut down and then slide to shut it down and give it about 10 15 seconds for your phone to completely shut down and once it shuts down we're going to power it back on by pressing the side button here just like that and hopefully it turns on and it works for you now after that let's say it's still not working for you we're going to do one more thing in our settings as well after this and then we'll show you some other solutions so we're gonna go ahead and open up open up your settings here and once you open up your settings you want to go to general go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and you click on the first options to reset and the reset that we want to do is reset all settings now let's understand what this does this does not delete your personal data so your photos videos apps will all be there what it will do is reset things like any network related settings so if you have saved wi-fi or bluetooth devices you have to reconnect them again any keyboard dictionary custom dictionary that you have any home screen layout custom of that will get reset and in any location privacy setting as well but it's important to do that like i said if your physical volume up and down button are not working for you now after you have done that and it's still not working you're going to want to go ahead into your settings again and ensure that your phone is up to date with the latest software update by going into settings general software update and see if there's an update available and if there's an update available it should show up like this and you want to download and install again for this for it to work you want to make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged and also connect it to good strong wi-fi or cellular data and go ahead and download the install and once you do that, generally you want to give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to successfully download and install the update. And hopefully by then it is fixed for you. And the reason why that is, is that over time, oh, previous update might have caused some issue where the physical buttons don't work. And hopefully after updating to the latest version of the software, your iPhone does work. Now, after you have done that and it still doesn't work, the next thing I recommend is backing up your phone and doing a factory reset and then restoring it. And that process takes a little bit longer we'll include another video to talk about that process itself but it's something you want to do now let's say all of that doesn't work and wish you did all of that most likely it's a hardware related issue in that case you'll have to take it to apple store and get it fixed but a temporary solution for you is that you can actually go in your settings here and go to accessibility and then under touch you want to turn on assistive touch right here and then you can allow custom actions as you'll see here for different buttons so let's say we want the volume up and down button we can actually have custom button when you click on that for us to do stuff so if by default when you click on it, it opens up a menu let's say for double tap we can have it so that our volume 
double maybe a double tap will have volume up and then for long press maybe we'll have volume a down or something along that line so if I double tap as you can see volume will go down and if I long press volume should go down so as you can see here you can customize these controls to your liking to imitate what the actual physical volume up and down button would do again a temporary solution but something to you know allow you to at least have a solution for you so i hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time